Hi, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, this is continuing on from what I was talking about last time with uh, layers and masking. I forgot to mention blending options. Blending options when you take a particular layer and apply one of these blends to it. So you can see here the way it will blend can be varied so you can use it to darken a patch or lighten. If I wanted to I can get the move tool and drag it over the top of the sun or whatever's in the background there. And there's a multitude of different options available. Best off to look at them um, and explore the effect on your own to discover best use for them. The other option of course is opacity which allows you to make things translucent or see-through. And that covers the basics of blending options. There is also a second lot of blending stuff which is blend, blending options, sorry, they were all blending layers but this is blending options. So, where I can actually take my image, do the layer style, and if I enable emboss, it adds a little features to the edge. Probably looks a lot better with the black, so we'll go to this layer that's just the black and look at the blending options on that. So here I can emboss and it gets a little bit of an edge around it. Or I can add contours, which adds a little contour edge, or some texture to it where you can see the graininess has just popped out. Now each of these options, if I turn to inner glow, go to the inner glow options, I can then start adding to that and change the inner glow colour to something bright. So here you can sort of see it pop out. Turn it off, turn it on. So just on these edges here, you can see this the white has been transformed. If we do it as a normal, you can see it very clearly. But normally something like an inner glow is used to just enhance, especially with text. Uh, inner glow is just on that outer edge. Uh, inner shadow, sorry, is yeah, which I've just destroyed because it should actually be darken or multiply, and then the options are pretty right. That one's darken of a dark tone and the inner glow is usually a multi is usually a line. So you can just see that on the edge. Then there's other effects, satin, gradient overlays, so add something else over the surface, a colour overlay to change colour, various outer glows, so if we want to get silly with it we can make it spread out quite a distance, we can make it spread out a number of pixels, uh, we can make it noisy which gives it that whole speckly effect. And each of these effects is really worth exploring in, in terms of your own stuff. Um, the easiest one to do with this is actually to add a piece of text over the top. So if I zoom out and I'll select the top layer because when I add text it adds it to the layer above you're working on. I'll accept this text and then I'll add some layer effects to it, some blending options, sorry. So add an outer glow, move that out of the way and the outer glow is sort of a piece of there, so I'll click on outer glow and we'll make it 30 pix 35 pixels will do, a fair bit of spread and if you look in there it is it sort of enables it to stand out. So if you're using text on a, a background that changes colour, this can be a way of making that text pop out and be more visible. We can even add drop shadows underneath and various features to that. So we can add it that and add it, make it somewhat less. So if you can see it's like blurring in the background. And there it is. So it looks like it's sitting on top. And adjust the distance from the centre of that thing. So if I want the drop shadow to be this way and drop the size of the shadow and push it a little further, change the angle, you can see now that text is really popping out. And the great thing about these blending options is I can take and move this layer anywhere I like and it will pop up and can retain those pieces of information that I've just applied to it, the drop shadow, the outer glow, that sort of thing. All right. 
So I'd like you to, with this image that we've been working on so far, is three layers, add a layer of text to it, show the blending options on the text and show layer masks with one of the other three layers so you can actually demonstrate how you blend things together. Thank you.